Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So in the last row, we have been able to send the email to the users using the ID and we have been able to send the emails right here to the user, right? So our, our back end, we have done almost all the functionality. So what is now left before we go to the front end is to allow cross origin resource sharing. So what cross origin resource sharing does, it allows you to share uh, resources from di between different applications that are not uh, running on the same like server or the same kind of machine or the same like uh, URL something like that so we need to allow calls in order to work because our react application is going to be a separate application from our flask our fast api application so for us to be able to add coming to allow communication between this and not get the calls uh, error whenever you're working with react we need to allow the course uh cause to, to we need to allow the react route in order to access our application so the react react applications run at port 3 3000 right so localhost at but 3000 whenever you create a react app and if you don't know about that we'll see about that whenever we will talk about that whenever we get into uh uh into the into into uh the front end development so down here so to add calls we need to import something so we need to say from sorry uh this is going to be course and just call it adding course headers okay so i'm going to say from first api dot uh, middle middleware uh dot course we're going to import we're going to import uh course middleware so just that so make sure i close this so we're going to record we're going to import course middleware so now that we have that imported we'll just go down just after the app we're going to adding call it adding adding course uh urls okay so then we're just going to uh add in here so we're going to call origins and this origins is just going to be a list so a list of uh, a list of routes that you want to allow so i'm going to going to allow uh, react application so this react application is running at http colon two four slashes and then local host at port 3000 so that's the default route for a uh, react application if you don't know about that you'll see about that we'll talk about this when you go into the uh front-end development and you also see this actually it's not anything like magical it's just there you can see it so uh local host so i'm sure I get the spelling right so it's local host at port 3000 and then yeah that's all we need to do so now you, you need to add come in here and then um add middle we need to just add the uh, so this is going to be add middle middle uh middle where Okay, so we're going to call it add middleware and then it's going to be app, uh, sorry, app dot um, add underscore middleware and then this is going to be uh, a tool. So the first thing is going to be, sorry, uh, the first thing is going to be this, uh, what you have just imported here, paste that in there and then we're going to provide in allowed, allow, uh, this is going to be allow underscore origin allowed origins so it's going to be allow origins if i get the spelling right so allow origins so allow origins is just going to be uh the origins that you have provided uh, the, the, the origins list that you have defined up here so you can provide in more than one uh, uh url in case you want to allow those uh, those urls to access your server you can just provide in there into origins list so you can say allow origins is going to be the uh, all list of origins so i'm going to also allow Credentials. So I just got this from the, the official documentation. So uh, allow credentials. This is gonna be true, and then we also need to pass in uh, allow uh, allow underscore methods. So methods is going to be uh, you're just going to pass a list in here, and then you're going to pass in an asterisk. So we're going to allow all methods to have access to our server. So we're also going to say allow underscore headers so allow headers is going to be uh, also a list and then it's going to be everything so guys that's all we need to do in order to implement the course of our application so in the next row we'll go into front end development and then you can see how this course can be really helpful for our application so this is all we need to do we have to cut at the course origin or across to allow cross origin for our application so we can go into front end try to refresh this to see if our application is working so let's check here the back end so got an expected error option allow credentials okay so uh, allow credentials so it's actually allow credentials so go back here 
try to refresh this so you can see now our application is all working so now we have that done the next tutorial will go ahead and actually begin to write the front end so guys if you like this tutorial give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos like this thanks for watching i'll keep safe see you in the next one